This video demonstrates how to code sign and notarize a software installer built with Click Install 7. To demonstrate the process, we built an installer that a user can download from the internet. When the user double clicks and runs the installer, they may be required to enter a password or confirm a license agreement. The software and support files are then added to the applications folder on the customer computer. Over the last several years, Apple has introduced many security features in the modern Mac OS. The operating system blocks software of unknown origin that is downloaded from the internet. To easily install downloaded software on a newer Mac computer, that software must first be code signed and notarized with Apple. Click Install provides a user-friendly wrapper around the inherently complex code signing and notarization process implemented by Apple. That process requires utilities install on the development computer with Xcode. Download and install Xcode 14.2 or later on the development computer. Xcode is free from the App Store. To code sign any Mac OS app or installer, you will first need to generate a certificate from an Apple developer account. Click Install can apply that certificate to any apps or libraries that you create and to the installer itself. To get a code signing certificate from Apple, you will need an Apple developer account. Select the code sign panel and click install. Click the Apple developer account button to log into your account. The instructions button presents a dialog with step-by-step -step instructions. The process involves keychain on your development computer and several screens in your developer account. Keychain comes in the utilities folder of the applications folder on every Mac computer. The instructions outline the process used to get your certificate. First you will generate a certificate signing request from Keychain, upload it to your developer account and then download two certificates. The developer ID underscore application dot sir file is referenced from click install. Within click install, set the code sign checkbox and invent a unique setup bundle ID. To be unique, the bundle ID typically begins with your reverse domain name and the name of the product being installed. Click the Select App Slash Libs button to present a dialog where you can select your application and any libraries that you have developed. Libraries supplied by your development environment will likely already be code signed. The file selected from this dialog will be code signed before your installer is built and code signed. Now click Build to generate the code signed installer. Once your installer has been fully tested on the development computer, it is time to notarize it with Apple. Select the Notarize panel and click Install. The notarization process will electronically send your finished installer to Apple. To start the process, enter your Apple ID. Click the Apple account button to log into your account and create an app-specific password. Enter the app-specific password and to click Install. Click the Instructions button and review the process. The process is divided into several step buttons at the left side of the Notarize panel. Step 1 and Step 2 only need to be done once to complete the team ID and profile fields. Step 3 does the actual notarization and may take several minutes to complete. Step 4 is only used if an error occurs during Step 3. Click Step 1 to retrieve your team ID from the code signed certificate that was installed in Keychain. If multiple certificates are discovered, the first ID located is extracted and stored in the Team ID field. If you wish to make a different choice, copy Enter that ID into the field. Type a unique identifier into the Profile field and click Step 2. This process may take up to a minute to complete and should present a success dialog. If you don't see the success dialog, make sure that Xcode 14.2 or later is installed on your computer. Step 1 and 2 need only be done once. From now on, you will notarize a finished installer by simply clicking Step 3. Click Step 3 to electronically send the installer to Apple for notarization. Depending on the size of your installer and internet speed, it may take several minutes to get a response. The response from Apple should indicate that the installer was accepted. It can now be uploaded to your website for distribution to customers.
In the unlikely event that your installer is rejected by Apple, click the Step 4 button. It presents a summary of the last notarization attempt and may indicate specific errors. Click Install can build an installer that can be used to deliver any type of software to any modern Mac computer. First you build and test the installer on your local development computer. Next you code sign and notarize it with Apple. The final step is to upload it to your website with a tool like FileZilla or use the FTP features on the upload panel of Click Install.